So this is my titanium hammer here. You've seen this a million times. Titanium's hard to get hard. <laughs> but this one's starting to do well and we're thinking it's uh, work hardened by use. And in the last video I was talking about what you guys thought about that. And you said, hey, why don't you try a needle scaler to see if you could harden titanium. And this hammer here is a titanium hammer as well. And we're gonna try to harden this one because I haven't used this face at all. Can you make titanium hard via the needle scaler? We are gonna head over to the garage, which is where the hardness tester is. I'm gonna get that set up and we're gonna start there. It's raining. It reminds me of the coast, old home. How many videos? I do some B-roll of the rain. So uh, I don't have really a spot to set it up, the uh, hardness tester. So we're gonna do that. Here, this is gonna be our bench. It's been a while since we've seen this old girl, hey? It's an old hardness tester. I had to disassemble quite a bit of it for uh, shipping it here, like when I moved, but uh, we're gonna set it up today, so I'm just gonna go through a couple things, get it tuned up, and then we can start testing out our titanium. The problem is, I don't know where I put the manual and the little coupons for testing that it's in specs. That is crazy. <laughs> so it happens when you move a whole entire house and shop. Come on, Deb, get your brain in the game. Ah, oh, boy. Maybe I would have actually just put it in here. That would have been so smart. Oh, uh, hey dad, uh, if you're watching this video, this is where your gauge is. Sorry. No. Yes. No. Oh, that's for a future video. Oh, oh, tell me. Tell me it's right here. Checking my underwear drawer to find it. Oh. I'm gonna sit here, try to figure out where did I put that stuff, hey? I think as I sit here, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor because I don't know what else to do. So here's the deal, right? You're trying to build a website, but you're not very technologically savvy, as some would say. Well, I've got great news for you. You gotta look no further than Squarespace. I'm calling it the one-stop shop. What are you doing? Doing an e-commerce website? You need a gallery? Portfolio? Nah, something to show off a little bit of your work? Maybe a blog? Chitter chatter? Something like that? Squarespace has award-winning templates, no matter what you need. Click and drag like never before. 24-7 customer service in case you do get a jam up and you need a little help. I've been using Squarespace for the last like, I don't know, like six years or something. I'm selling all my stuff. No, seriously though. If you need a website and you want to do it yourself and you want it to be really simple, really professional looking, I recommend Squarespace. Check it out. Squarespace.com slash Tim D gets you 10% off your first purchase. The inside of the Land Cruiser, not too much to it. That's the beauty of it. Hey, you know what? We should check in the glove box. You never know, this glove box is huge. You can put a lot of stuff in it. Oh, 
Are you serious? Look at that! It's like it was just waiting there for an opportune moment to come out. Oh, that's a mouse nest in there though, that's nasty. Well, isn't that just dandy? If you've uh, never seen a hardness tester like this before, here's the Coles notes, the crash course. This is a physical hardness tester, which means if you take this little guy here, which actually has a diamond on the tip of it, and you measure how far that pushes into your material, and then by how far it goes in, you can determine how hard it is. That's the real short version of it. So this is a, a calibration piece. This is a known hardness. We're gonna run it up here and just see how the machine's running for accuracy, and then we know we're calibrated. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's get on to what we're here for, the titanium. So I just put the vise in so that I could get the hammer set up nice and tight underneath this thing. It's a little bit janky, but it works. And the thought is to see if this hammer has work hardened. That's the first place to start with. I look back on my notes from when I was first playing with titanium with the hardness tester, and it's about Rockwell 15-ish. When we get it, we're gonna see now where it is. I did three consecutive ones in different spots and the average of that is 39.3. And this is the grade five titanium. I, I don't know if I told you this is grade five. This one, which is the three hours in forge water quenched. Look at that, landed at 39.2. That's very interesting as well. Uh, three hours normalized. Yeah, pretty ballpark to that as well. So nothing really crazy. Nothing really crazy right there. Okay, now that we got that established, we're gonna be taking this guy, and this surface I've hardly used at all. Looks like I've used it a bit, doesn't it? Not that I can recall. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna test this one, and then we're gonna go needle scale it and see how that compares. Grade five titanium. So it's um, interesting with this one, it was just all over the place for hardnesses, 32, 22, 16, and then I kind of swiveled back close to this spot and it went to 36. So I think like it's accurate, but it's very soft. This is like normalized state. I don't even know if that's the right word. This is soft state and this is hard-ish. So I think it's believable because it's just not been used much. Anyways. Average is 26.5, but what we're gonna do now, hit it with the needle scaler and see if that makes any difference. I don't even think we're gonna have to run the needle scaler for that long. In case you're wondering what a needle scaler is, this is the old Princess Auto El Cheapo. Basically these little rods here get hit by a pneumatic piston and they smash, smash whatever you're hitting with it. It's made for taking scale off like welds. Anyways, let's go to the shop, try it out. So I needle scaled it, I'm gonna say for about five minutes hard. And it's like hardly anything happened on the surface. Like you can barely see I needle scaled that, which on steel you'd see a lot of texture. So here's the numbers. The first hit was 26 and a half, and then I had a 36, 37, 32, and 40, and 37. So these are pretty close together. So if you take the average of all of them, I'm at 34.75. If you take this one out, because it could have been a setup issue, we're at 36.4, which is actually 
you know, the last one was 26.5 and those pings were all over the place, that's quite a bit harder. So comparing to the 39.3, which is the hammer I've been using at the anvil for a while, you know, for five minutes of work, that's pretty smoking good. Can we get it harder though? I'm going back. We're gonna put another session on it with the needle scaler and we'll see. Let me quickly show you this here. I just got these uh, Blackhawk hatchets. These are the 1912s finished up. Uh, they should be ready to go when the video posts. And I got two of the big brothers, the Blackhawk Axe. These are 1912 as well. Ooh, that texture looks so good. And uh, it's not very often I get to see them together, you know, like the pair looks so good. These are uh, number 21 and 20 there. Might be still wet under here a little bit. Nineteen twelve. This is serial number twenty seven. So that's made from the uh, train rail from nineteen twelve. Anyways, if you're interested in one of those or one of those, head over to the website. Link is down below. Could just stand here all day looking at those. Man, those things look. The, uh, the numbers were a little bit smoother. Well, is that true? That's not true, except for this one. Anyways, these were 33, 37, 42, 33, 36. Average, 36.2, and the average is 36.4. So, nil difference. That's as hard as I can get it through needle scaling. Maybe we should try one more thing. I know this sounds a little crazy. We're gonna try. Titanium hammer versus titanium hammer to see if it hardens it up. I think it should be not too dangerous because they're not too hard and it's, yeah. We're gonna try it. It feels very wrong though. I'm seeing no difference between any of that stuff past the first needle scaling. These are the numbers from the last one. Average 35.2, had one low one on the side. It's pretty close to 36, which is what everything else is. So where does that leave us? Yes, you can harden titanium by work hardening with a needle scaler. I've been looking for that miracle recipe to try to get the titanium to harden up a little bit more. Like, like I was hoping to see 50s, you know, 60s is the dream. Just not getting out of the titanium. And, and I guess I just gotta live with that, you know? We're looking at 36, maybe high 30s for the hardness. And I don't know if I can live with that to make a hammer to sell. Uh, at least in the forging department, probably framing hammers which would be really fun to do a series of those, would be okay. The titanium just has so many other factors going for it that I personally still use the titanium hammer. Like I mentioned before, for the last two years, I'll walk across the shop to use it always, but I don't know if I feel like that's, it's a soft hammer, that's what it is. I guess there's just no way around it. I don't know, I think I'm gonna uh, push all this titanium stuff to the side and we'll get on to something else. Think on it a little bit more, use the hammer a little bit more, even though it's been two years. I love it. But uh, let me know if there's interest in doing a run of them, like a forging hammer run, I guess, of uh, titanium. The titanium forging hammer, I guess is what you would call it. Check out my website if you're interested in the Blackhawk Axe. I got two available, and I got the Blackhawk Hatchets available. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Till then, keep the forge lit, hey? Is there anything else I need to test, try? Am I happy, Tim? Am I happy with this whole experiment? Do I feel like it's closure? I think so. I think so.